Hello, um, I want to show you how to work with arrays. So um, the first thing about an array is I want to declare an array. So when I declare an array, um, okay, first, what is an array? So I'm going to remind you what is a string variable. So if I type string is equals, and I do uh, double quotes, and let's say John, okay. So let's say, for instance, my string value um, is saved in the variable name s. And now the value John is saved in, saved in the variable name S. It means that S is the same as John. So if I'm going to, um, or S holds the value John. So if I'm going to print out S, it's going to give me um, John and not S. Okay, so we all understand it because we've all done strings before. But what I'm doing here is I'm saying string with square brackets. Okay. Now, I'm not saying string, like I've done here with John, I say string, string square brackets. And that means that my variable called movies um, is going to contain multiple values. So here, I say movies equals, and then I put a set of values, or, or an array of values, all of them, um, encased in curly brackets, all of those values are going to sit here in this variable name called movies. Okay. And the, the reason why, how I know that movies will contain more than one value rather than just one value is by the square brackets. Um, so I put all these values into movies and in the curly brackets. So the curly brackets indicate that all the values together are going to sit in the variable name movies. And then each value is separated with a, semico, uh, with a, a comma. So because they um, I only put the semicolon at the very end of the line, but all my variables are separated by commas and they held together as one thing with the curly brackets. And then at the end I put my semicolon. And that is how I declare a variable, a, a variable which is an array, a string array. So now what's the difference between a string and a, and a string array? It means my array will contain a multiple set of values rather than just one value. Now I call it an array and in memory the array is a sequential block of um, space that would hold these four values. So in memory I'm creating four memory spaces for four values and each of these four memory spaces can only hold string values. So um, an array is a fixed size um, array variable. So I can't have, after I've declared movie movies with the four movie names, so Bambi, Rambo, Scarface and Rocky, those are four, I can't change the size of the array to three or to five or anything like that. It's always going to stay four values. Even if those four values are empty, this is going to be an array that can hold four values. That's how I've declared it. Okay, and now I've got to show you this wonderful thing. Look here, arrays dot two string brackets movie. Okay, I want to print my array. I can't just print like normal. Look, if I wanted to print John, I can just go and say print uh, uh, system without a print on S. Now I'm just going to show you what happens when I print movies on its own, okay? And let's just comment this one out for now, okay? So if I run this lot, um, then I'm going to see my array. I'm just going to wipe off some nonsense here, okay? So I've got, uh, I'm going to see John and then I'm going to see movies. So I want you to see what will happen if I print movies. So if I run this, okay, I've got my console appearing on the left-hand side. So there I saw John, and look at this wonderful thing here. Now that is the lovely movie names that is printing when I say system out dot print line movies. So you see, I don't do, I don't want that. I want to see my movie names. And therefore, I use this magic syntax, arrays.toString movies. So in other words, I've got to use the toString 
function which is in my arrays class when I type it and I do the control shift and O the computer would import the Java util arrays and that will change my movies into a string value and then print it so when I want to print it I've got to do that sort of thing um, and when I run now you'll see how wonderful that is I can see Bambi, Rambo, Scarface and Rocky now just one more thing about declaring arrays if I don't know beforehand um, what my what my values are so in other words I want to keep four movie names but I don't know what their names are then what I'm going to okay let's call this one dash I want to create um, an empty array then I do new uh, string and I've got to I've got to then say in square brackets that I want to keep four values so now I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to print that empty array so can you see here string square bracket square bracket says more than one value the variable name is dash new string and here I specify four empty values so in other words if I don't know Bambi, Rambo, Scarface, Rocky I don't know what they are in the beginning I just want to create an empty array with four with four spaces so in other words I can only keep four values in that array then that's how I would do it and here I'm printing I'm going to print dash and let's see what I get when I do that Right, so I see John, which was my S, and I see my movies, which is Bambi, Rambo, Scarface, Rocky, and then I see four nulls, which is my dash array. That is the four nulls that I see there. And that is how I declare an array and how I print an array.